everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the Whole Truth Program, coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ, of the Apostle of Faith Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Evan. Lord God, we come before you this morning, Lord Jesus, thank you and praising you for, for all of your tender mercy and your loving kindness. Lord God, we know that we need you each and every day of our lives, Lord Jesus, and we ask that you walk us down the straight and narrow pathway. Lord, bless us to have a mind to be obedient to your commandments, Lord Jesus. Lord God, let us not get a mind of rebellion nor disobedience today, Lord God, but let us fear you that we might walk up right before you today, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for health, strength, and energy. Lord God, we thank you for another day, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for the ministry and the word of God that's being preached in these last and evil days. Lord God, we ask that your word prick someone's heart, Lord God, that they might see their failures, Lord God, and see where they need to repent today, Lord God. Bless Bishop Tisdale, Lord God. Give him a word, Lord God, that will comfort someone's heart today, Lord God. Lord God, give him a word, Lord God, that will heal someone's body today. Lord God, many people are racking pain in their bodies, Lord God, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord God, touch someone's body today, Lord God. Heal their mind, heal their feet, heal their body, Lord God, and heal their minds, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you bless the sick and the afflicted, Lord God. Bless the homeless, Lord Jesus, and bless us, Lord God, that we might see you in glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Again, you're listening to the Whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you can mail your correspondence to the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Pottsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at one 33256 you can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs in the calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Special announcement. If it is the Lord's will, our great 66th church anniversary and also our second quarterly assembly meeting We'll convene here at the headquarters church in Hartsville, South Carolina on Tuesday night, January the 24th, and we will continue through Sunday, January the 29th, 2012. I will service begin each night at 7.30 p.m., except on Sundays when service will begin at 11 a.m. and will continue throughout that day. All are culturally invited to be with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord, if it is the Lord's will. Now, this time, the choir will render a selection entitled, The Blood That Jesus Shed For Me.
to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We do give honor to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody with much love and joy and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the head of all principalities and powers. The Bible tells me that we are complete in him. We have everything we need today in the Lord Jesus Christ. He came and showed us a way that man did not have. He brought a way for us to be saved. And he established it before his apostles and those, and they went out and distributed it. Just like he said. Have to remember was tempted by the devil and he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the fourth book of Matthew. We realize that after he had done this, the tempter came. You know, when you in a struggle, to save yourself from this untoward generation and you're leaning out on the Lord with prayer and supplication unto him, then here comes the tempter. Try to destroy your steadfastness in God. He doesn't want you to continue, so he is put here as a to try and entice you to go another way. But Jesus Christ only brought one way for the human family to be saved. Doesn't matter traditionally what your grandparents tell you, what great grandma said. God have a way. And he says it's one way according to the words of God. But when you're suffering, when you're going through for God, the tempter is coming after you to destroy your mind. Offer you something that he can't give. Amen. The devil offer people life, a wonderful time, but he can't give that. He's only a tempter, people. He's only put here to tempt you. He doesn't own anything. God owns everything. But he is a tempter, and he tempts Jesus Christ. As the words say here in the fourth book of Matthew. All right. He was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. To be tempted of the devil. You see this? When you live a righteous life. You're going to be tried. The tempter coming after you. Amen. You go in water in the name of Jesus Christ, which is right. That's right. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 4. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Then here comes the tempter. Amen. People don't understand. They feel like they haven't had any problems until they came into the church. Now they don't give their heart and mind and soul to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is the Savior, and now you're having more trouble than you have when you were out in the world. You oh, know yeah. why? Oh, you yeah. could lie. You could steal. You could cheat. That's right. You can do all, could do all manner of evil things, That's right. and it was all right. <laughs> Amen. Right. It was all right for you to go that way. That's right. But now that we have found the Lord, we have to do it his way. Amen. Amen. I said a tempter going to come to try you, but oh, yes. you can't give in. Cannot. That's why people need to have the word of God on the inside. Amen. You have God's word in you when the tempter come to tempt you, 
the word of God going to stand up. Amen. Amen. It's going to stand now. Amen. All you do, have it by the spirit of God. That's right. If you have the word, have the spirit too. Amen. Amen. And, and when the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Shall lift up a st standing against him. Isaiah 59 and 19. You got to get God. You have to have him by his spirit and by the word. Amen. They're still all one. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Spirit, word, same thing. That's right. Word, Jesus Christ said, I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. life. Amen. To the flesh profit is nothing. nothing. Amen. There's nothing in the flesh. Amen. It's nothing in us. Nothing. Amen. Man has to learn that he must come down the totem pole. Amen. He got to come on down to the bottom here. Truly. Because God going to reign. Jesus Christ going to reign until he have put all enemies, all enemies on his feet. Surely. Everything that exalted itself had to come down. Amen. Amen. High minds have That's to right. come down. That's right. Amen. Lifted up in pride That's have right. to come down. Amen. Amen. When a man think he's something when he's nothing, the Bible says he deceives him on that. That's right. We are nothing. God it, have to help. Us. Amen. God have to put his word in. Us. Like right. Jesus Christ, he is the word. Yes, you he know, is. he had the word of God in him when oh. the tempter came. Amen. But the tempter didn't back up off him. No. Fourth chapter of Matthew. Matthew 4 and 2. All right. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Now you know if you fast 40 days and 40 nights, it seems like the devil shouldn't come nowhere close to you. Oh, yeah. That's right. I want to get you people to understand when you are in Christ, you're going to have some problem oh, from yeah. the tempter. Amen. But having done all to stand, the Bible says, stand there with Amen. you. Is that right? Amen. My God, stand. I want to stand in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I have to have it like Jesus Christ had it here when the tempter came to him. You Amen. better get the word in you. You, you better Amen. get the spirit in you. Amen. So when the tempter come to tempt you, he's coming all right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What did it say, Rita? And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. He was hungry after fasting. And when the tempter came to him, he said. And here come the tempter to him. Who, you, who we think we are, that the tempter not going to come to us. He's coming. But I have to be able to withstand. Amen. In the evil day. Amen. We have to stand. Amen. Amen. What the word say? <laughs> if thou be the son of God. Now that line here, go this line. they over here. Amen. Amen. Command that these stones be made bread. He, he, he talking about if. See, trying to call himself tricking you. The devil try mm -hmm. to trick you with the word of God. Surely. Amen. Amen. You're going to come into Christ Jesus and enjoy his goodness. And amen. The world to come, his spirit, and, and rejoicing in him. The tempter going to come to you. Oh, yes. But oh, I yes. tell you, people, you have to stand. 